Well, it seemed like it was inevitable. The horse-loving woman who took Prince Harry's virginity before smacking him on the rump and sending him to graze has given her first interview. That's right, Sasha Walpole gave her side of the story in a fascinating interview with The Mail on Sunday. Kate, I'm going to come to you first. While she was happy to give the interview, it doesn't sound like she was particularly thrilled with the way Harry handled the whole thing. Well, yeah, this was the inglorious episode that he so memorably described in his book. Um, and obviously now we know who she is, Sasha Walpole, she's 40. He had said that she was an older woman. Um, we didn't realise she was going to be just two years older, so I don't know what that what he would refer yes, to his wife as. Yes, was he trying as? to give himself a sort of like a glamorous MILF narrative there? Was that what was going on? But, uh, <coughs> I th you know, she, she rightly said in the interview, um, I've kept this secret for 21 years. He sort of outed her. He didn't name her in the book, um, but everybody who knew them at that time knew that it must be her. And I think she just thought, well, all my friends know. She had, the, you know, her phone started pinging and they were saying, you know, have you seen the Daily Mail? She said, no, why? Prince Harry's book, oh my goodness, you're in it. That's you, isn't it? That was oh, the God. episode. And so she's frantically, you know, getting hold of this book and reading the episode and goodness, she's not named, but everybody around her knew that it was her. So I think it was only a matter of time she thought, well, I'm going to have my say. And I don't know if she's upset with him for mentioning it. She just said, you know, he could have phoned me and told, you know, told me, or he could have let me know, or hey, just not include it at all. So it's strange how he did include it, and I don't know the purpose of it really. He had that interview with Tom Bradby, if you remember, and he seemed a bit grumpy when Bradby inter you know, interviewed him and asked him about that point in the book. And yes. he said, well, "Why don't we talk about you losing your virginity, Tom Bradby?" And Tom's sort of going, well... Well, I didn't write mine in the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, you do wonder what kind of pressures were brought to bear by the publishers on that one, because I'm wondering if he perhaps now regrets including it. Well, I don't know, Richard. You suspect, don't you, that he won't really see himself in the wrong here, will he, Harry? No, I mean, the reason Harry included this um, brief episode in his book was for dramatic... Brief. How rude. <laughs> How rude. Well, I think Sasha says, <laughs> Sasha says five minutes, I think 15 minutes away from the pub. It was, it was Five brief. minutes for the... Uh, no, the, re the reason he included it was it did actually play an important dramatic purpose. Now, what that was was that he had a visit from his um, long-term mentor, Mark Dyer, known as Marco in the book, who came to Eton to visit him and to quiz him about something. And he felt very nervous because he thought that Marco had come to quiz him about um, this episode with Sasha Walpole that he thought might have been seen by others. <coughs> right. Well, anyway, it turned out that Marco had come to grill him about drugs because people had um, they'd had reports from journalists that he'd been seen, um, I think it was smoking cannabis or taking other drugs. And he wanted to ask him about this. And to Harry's great shame, and he admits it was one of the few things actually in his book he admits he was ashamed of, he lied to someone he trusted most of all, Marco, and he told him that it was untrue mm. about the drug. So he, he just mentioned the um, virginity in that context in the book, so it's quite brief. You know, but he's put it all out there, this great privacy campaigner has, you know, just abolished his own privacy. And I suppose she's probably had um, some criticism for coming forward, but it's the kind of thing whereby you'd probably always be looking over your shoulder until you put your hand up and said it was me. You know, she must have always been... I can imagine newsrooms going, let's find this woman, who is this woman? I think there was an awkward moment when she hit before the story broke and she had to tell her father, <laughs> well, actually, it was me, which is not something she'd probably want to break to her, to her dad. Oh, but, wow. Um, I, I always wonder with these and with the drugs, where were the close protection officers in all this? You know, if he was being guarded 24-7, you just wonder what they were. And maybe they thought, well, he's a lad, you know, let him Grabbing have some and privacy. Keeping safe yeah. distance. Well, he That's makes right. clear that he managed to escape um, the protection officers. But we read at length, don't we, in the book about all the drugs that he did repeatedly. The, the drugs thing is shocking, actually. Um, you know, there's so much... Drugs are featured so heavily in the book and they play such a large part in Harry's life, really. That's quite surprising when he's had protection That's officers. I mean, yeah. but, but they are there. I mean, he, you know, he has put them consistently in a very awkward position because he has been breaking the law consistently while with um, police officers. 
and that puts them in a, in a very awkward position. Thank you for watching, but don't forget to click here to subscribe to our Royals channel for Palace Confidential, which brings you the latest royal news, views and gossip. See you there.